Hey guys, I'm Dan Whitaker. Today I am going to be reviewing this club, the DST Compressor. So first review of a training aid. I'm going to see what this training aid is all about. It is meant to be fantastic for impact. So we'll take a look at it right now. So guys, I absolutely love training aids. So this one is fantastic for impact, okay? This has got a bent golf shaft right here, okay? Which is supposed to allow you to get your hands more in front of the club at impact, okay? It's got a couple of white lines here, which we're gonna go into some detail there. You're meant to line those up at the start. And this is meant to give you the best impact position you can find that will get you into the impact alignment that all of the pros find themselves in at impact. Let's see what this training aid is all about and have a look whether it can get you into those amazing impact positions. So the DST's got this huge shaft bend in it, okay? And on the website, it tells me I've got to line up these two white lines here and here to create a straight line. Now, if you have a look here, when that creates the straight line, which is now on the floor there, the hands are a long, long way in front of the leading edge of the club, okay? It really, really looks quite funky, okay? And straight away, I've got a few reservations for this. It's kind of, it just feels really awkward, okay? Now, what they're saying is, from here, I've got to get my nose over those two white lines, which is right there. So now, my hands are so far forwards on my body relative to where I'd normally set up, okay? I honestly want to be set up here, okay? But on the site, it's telling me that if I start off with the hands forwards, I am going to return the golf club to back to where I started. I've got a few problems with that personally, okay? Every top player I've seen gets the handle further forwards. Okay, so they're not returning to the same position. So is this, with me creating this straight white line here, the hands so far forwards on the body, creating a false or fake impact position? It genuinely feels like it's going to because I feel like I can move it back here every time, but there's so many other issues that are gonna go on in my swing that I don't like about this. But first off, let's have a look at Justin Rose's swing, okay? Let's see where he gets to. So we can see right here, here's a dress. Here is coming into, and there is impact. Those hands are definitely further forwards at impact. We can see the hands are way further forwards than where it started, and the shaft is leaning forwards. Now, is this shaft in the left arm creating the angle that the DST wants me to? 100%. It is 100% the impact position this is saying, but it's not coming back to the same position. So, that's my number one gripe with this training aid. It's saying, start off with my hands miles forwards, okay, to create this straight line, and I'm gonna return my hands back to that spot. Well, surely I can just get my eight iron and push my hands forwards and be able to do that, and hopefully that's gonna work because it's the dynamics of the golf swing, the weight transference and everything else that's gonna get my hands further forward. Now the other major gripe I've got, okay, is from this address position, when the hands are so far forwards, as I make my back swing, okay, the club head is way further on than my body. So I now turn my body. And the club has gone way inside and really closed. The right hand's very on top and the club's got behind my hands. To set the golf club is so difficult, all I can do is shut the club face. From here, if I want to try and open the club face, I have to roll my hands, which is, this feels so horrendous as a balance point on the shaft, okay? So it's actually taken away from the fact that I can't make a one-piece move. I turn back at this position here, the club should be an extension of my belly button. This is pointing outside my left hip. There's my belly button. But, as I said, that feels so awful. It's a great balance point for the club and the shaft, the way it's been designed, but I don't think it's going to help me get my backswing in place. So, is this going to be something that 
and it's actually going to hurt my backswing and hurt my golf swing. You know, I think it would be a great idea for people if you want to use it making half swings where you're going like this and you're basically hitting chip type shots, going back there and coming through and just learning not to have any flip. But for me, I've got some huge reservations. I mean, 74.95, it's not the cheapest training aid in the world, it's not the most expensive, okay? And it's really nicely put together and looks fantastic. But the problem is this is surely gonna create more faults, okay? I'm gonna take a look at a student and a lesson with it and see if it can help his impact. That's gotta be the number one thing because whether I, what I think of it, doesn't really matter, it's how the student performs with it. So as you can see here, we tried the DST with Tom and the setup position looked a little bit funky here on the left hand side. I know that's obviously fitting to the training aid, but we wanted to see if we could create a little bit more lean impact, but it didn't get any more lean going into impact and then than it did on the swing before it with just the normal club, okay? So we can see here that impact position is pretty solid, okay? Hands aren't necessarily leading in that much further forwards, okay? They're fairly similar, you know, footwork's really similar, etc. Okay, but the thing that kind of surprised me the most was when we've changed to the DST from the down the line here is the backswing. Now obviously this original one, just normal swing on the right, club's going up quite nicely, a little under the forearm, granted it's just a hair under plane, okay, but it's pretty good at the top. The thing that's really shocked me is that this movement with the DST has absolutely wrecked the backswing. It's made it so low, so under plane, so out of position right here compared to where it was this way. Okay, now take it to the top. Okay, and we take the DST to the top. And it just doesn't quite look as good. It's kind of made everything lower down and it's kind of not helped that backswing. So what I thought before of it taking under the way, it's been proven with the first student tried it with from down the line. So unless they're gonna try and put something in, a bit of a funky move to take the club on plane, this is definitely ruining that takeaway. So it seems that my search for the perfect teaching aid to get great impact continues. This isn't the one for me. Now this might help you guys. You might find a fantastic use for this. It isn't for me. I've not really found any use in it. It's unfortunately gonna be an ornament in my bag right there. It's not gonna be what I hoped it to be, but we'll try a few more impact training aids and see which one ends up being the best of the current bunch to get people into the best impact position. I want it where we can help us get into impact, but not falsifying it fake like this. Pretty disappointed in this, to be really honest with you. But, like I say, probably some people out there that this will really help. I hope you've enjoyed the first review. Got quite a few more reviews coming. I'm going to be really honest in all of them and give you my feedback on what I think of that training aid. Hopefully that can then you can find the uses for it in your game and then you can make an educated decision whether it's actually going to help you fix the faults in your game before you potentially go and waste any money. Not that I'm saying this is a waste of money, but it might help your decision making. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Contact me on all my social media links below or through my website. Thanks for watching and talk with you again soon.